passed away from motion points at home to Chester. New manager Ian Evans still waits to see his side win a match. No, this isn't the Swansea manager being carried off in a state of collapse. It's just part of the special emergency exercise staged at the Vet on Saturday. But Ian Evans' heartbeats fluctuated wildly throughout the game itself. He was on a high when Andrew Melville got on the end of Robbie James' far post ball to put the Swans in front after only three minutes. But a heart-stopping equaliser from Chester's Carl Dale, the former Bangor City striker, had manager Evans reaching for the smelling salts. Goalkeeper Bracey did his best, but it was a very sloppy piece of defensive play from a side with promotion aspirations. And that's how it ended, 1-1. Two valuable points dropped, though Alan Nil very nearly headed a second-half winner. But the plain fact emerging from the game is the Swans' desperate need for a new strike force. However, manager Ian Evans scraped a few crumbs of comfort from the match. For me and for the supporters, um, the essence of a good game is creating gold mouth activity, if you like, creating or trying to make things happen in the box. Um, and if I just take one player, for example, Bodet, for me today, he got crosses in, um, half a dozen or seven in the first half and the same in the second, that's just from one individual. And I know for a fact that they were coming from the other side with Tommy and young Chrissy Coleman and Melville, who for me had an excellent game today, was also delivering the goods. The disappointment must have been about the lack of shots at goal, I doubt whether there were much more about half a dozen in the whole game. That's right. right, yeah, it's, uh, uh, exactly. In comparison to the amount of times the ball was in the box or in and around the danger area, uh, the shots ratio didn't tally up with the, that, that amount of crosses that we did get in, so something to think about. This is very worrying and time is running a bit short for you now, you know? mm -hmm. it must be something that you've got to do something about. Well, time uh, is running short in relation to the transfer deadline, I know. Um, club, in fact, has done very well to get itself promoted from the fourth division last year. I know they're in a healthy position and on, on the fringe of a playoff place or even promotion this year. Um, so, in fact, uh, obviously I'm committed and I'd like to carry it right through. And if they can do it two seasons, two seasons run, smashing. But I don't want to get wrapped up in any hysteria about I must do this and I must do that about strike force. Um, it's plain that I do need the chances to go in. And obviously I'm thinking heavily about uh, a striker. How soon do you hope to have somebody of that, uh, of that type here? That I can't say. I've made inquiries. Obviously the better striker you go for, uh, clubs are reluctant to let them go because uh, even though they're playing reserve team football elsewhere, they're, they're a good backup for their own squad. Um, but I'm hopeful. You're not tempted to uh, put Andrew Melville back up front again? I try not to. No, I prefer him where he is. He played an excellent game and he scored from a right back position today. Indeed, he stretched well to get that one too, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. yeah, it was just one of those instances with the ball coming across the face of the goal and then and Mel was in the right place. It must have been a little disappointing about the sloppy goal that you gave away though, right? Yeah. Yeah, so at that time, I think, what, five, six minutes before half-time, I, I felt like one nil in a half-time will do. And they had a quick throw in deep in our half. Somebody was sleeping. Uh, I think Alan Neil said that he'd made a tackle and the ball seemed to bobble over his leg and it ran for the lad who'd shot, come back off the goalkeeper and it was in the back of the net. But purely just uh, not being organised and aware of what might happen in certain areas, especially as quickly as that happened. It was a disappointing for me. What then do you get down to on Monday morning, uh, yeah. Preparation for the plastic at Preston. Yeah, that's, that's got to be something. Yeah, well, it's a different type of game together, altogether. Suit our lads, I know, because we can all pass it and they're all comfortable in possession. Um, you know, just keep my fingers crossed uh, that the chances that I know will all be there from finishing the net for us. Yeah, stuff to end up.